Let's stay with sport now. The Canadian province of Alberta has cancelled its bid to host the 2030 Commonwealth Games, blaming rising costs. Last month, Australia pulled out of hosting the 2026 Games in Victoria. Our reporter Nikki Schiller told us more about the reasons why. Yeah, so the Commonwealth Games, Marion, they've been going every four years since the 1930s. And they include the triathlon, diving and gymnastics and indeed wheelchair athletics as well and the only time they were cancelled was during the second world war now for athletes to take part they have to be one of the 54 commonwealth countries or 18 territories now as you mentioned alberta in canada had bid to host the 2030 games they produced a promotional video but now they have decided to pull out and it is because of the cost now the ministers there say that it has risen to this amount 2.7 billion Canadian dollars and the sports and tourism minister said that was too high for the province to bear. Now in a statement he said it was partly down to the amount of revenue they can get from broadcasting rights and the sponsorship model and it meant 93% of the cost they said and the risks were put on the taxpayer. So Mariam at the moment there is no city bidding to host the 2030 games. And what about 2026 Nikki? Problems there too? Yeah, absolutely. You may remember last month, Victoria in Australia pulled out of bidding for the 2026 Games, again because of the spiralling costs. They had won the rights to host it, but said that the cost had spiralled to £6 billion Australian dollars, and that was too much. It is also worth remembering that the Games last year were only hosted in Birmingham after the South African city of Durban was stripped of the rights to host it, again because they failed to meet financial deadlines. And Nikki, th these games, they mean, mean a lot to athletes, don't they? Yeah, they do, Mariam. And the reason for that is both athletes and para-athletes compete at the same games at the same time. Now, this is Australian Emma McKeon. She is the most successful Commonwealth athlete ever. She has won 20 medals. And here in the UK, a lot of athletes like competing because they compete for their home nations, England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, rather than Team GB. And last month we spoke to Baroness Tanny Gray Thompson after Victoria pulled out. And here is what she said about how important the Games are to athletes. I think it's important that we don't lose the, the Commonwealth Games uh, as, as an event because as well for a lot of the smaller countries in the Commonwealth Games this is their chance to shine on a world stage which they might not get as well at, as the Olympics and Paralympics. So Nikki, does this put the Games in doubt? Well, it is a very good question, Mariam. Now, the Commonwealth Games Federation issued a very brief statement after Alberta pulled out where they said the dialogue with other potential hosts is ongoing. Now, there were reports last month that Gujarat in India might want to host it, but that has since been denied. They say they want to concentrate instead on the 2036 Olympics. Meanwhile, the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has said that he would consider the capital bidding for the 2036. 2026 games.